there is nothing more unhealthy than emotional imbalance, I feel. So, for sure, the people who are very afraid, for example, of this corona problem, they are having a negative impact on their immunity system. And in that way, you know, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, their fear. You know? And the same thing can be said for many other diseases, even cancer. Too much worrying about getting cancer is, in a way, likely to uh, increase the possibility to get it. Because cancer, anyhow, is something which mostly comes from inside. You know? Some outer factors are, of course, there in the environment. It is very well known that if you have a hundred people that are affected in the same way from the environment, maybe only one or two will get it. You know? So, those one or two are having another problem that adds to it, and that problem usually is emotional in nature. So, then the fear of disease, definitely it can bring about disease. You know? So, you can say, okay, this is in a way a kind of identification, but it is not an identification with the disease, of course, no? Uh, it is not because you are very afraid of Corona that you will get Corona. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you might get something a lot worse also, no? Uh, but so definitely also whenever you get ill, not to identify with that situation is going to be quite important for your recovery, no? The more you are worried about it, the more weak you will become. You know? So, whichever then disease comes, that is always the case. You have to have a belief in your own strength. And that will be part of your resistance. It may not solve everything also. Some people are a little bit attached too much importance also to that. But uh, it is part of the answer, to believe, to have faith, to be strong, and to do whatever you can to counter it. You know? Cells of the body, they also have a mind, they also have an ego, they also have an intellect. We are, you know, creatures made out of millions of creatures, actually. No? But to them we are God. To them we are like the highest power that is over there. So imagine that God would be really somebody that you know and, you know, have quite direct contact with. And then suddenly God becomes very worried that the whole universe will collapse. So what do you think you would do? No? <laughs> So that's in a way also how it works. If we feel depressed, if we feel there's no way out, if we feel very worried about something, that applies to all the cells of the body. So then they cannot work as well as, as before. No? And, and that will have some impact, definitely. No? And in really depressed feelings which are also present in people who don't seem outwardly depressed, I would say, who are still functioning in society, still working, but who really do have real negative thinking about themselves. That's where some of those cells are feeling that they've had enough and they start to lead their own life, independent of this total organism, that is where cancer comes. And that is not just some story I read somewhere, that I have seen. And that is how also people have to get out of it, to restore Faith in oneself, to restore self-confidence, 
to restore positivity, to restore that like feeling of unlimited potential is extremely important in battling that that problem. It may again not be enough to only have that. <laughs> it is also quite clear. Because these cells have started their own story, so they are not so much impressed anymore by whatever you are doing, but at least they are not so much gain support from other cells. Which is very much what happens in cancer. 